Good day. It's Pastor Maya here with your WOW Encounter. Yep, it's our word on Wednesday. Today, I want to talk to you about being complacent and feeling underqualified and not moving forward in what you're supposed to be doing. Listen, I declare over you that today is the day that everything changes for you. If you're looking at this, I want you to say that. Say, today is the day everything changes. It is the day that everything changes. I will no longer be complacent. I will no longer doubt myself. I will no longer allow the feelings of not being qualified to run my life. I will no longer feel like I'm not ready and not able to do what God is asking me to do. But today, everything changes. And I choose to trust that God knows exactly what he's doing. If he called me to it, he's going to bring me through it. If he called me to it, he's going to make sure that I can get through it. Listen, my dad used to say, uh, Bishop White, he used to say, uh, he knew you were, he knew you weren't qualified when he called you. But yet still, he still called you. He knew you wasn't going, he knew you wasn't perfect when he assigned you to the assignment for your life and to the purpose. But hey, he still called you. Today, everything changes. We got to come and combat those feelings of complacency and self-doubt. So think about a child or think about you when you went and got your driver's license. Before you got your driver's license, you got your learner's permit. When you had your learner's permit, you had to study that book. And then you had to go, and um, before you can get your driver's license, you had to study the book, go take your, get your permit, and then you would have to take the test, um, the written test, and you would have to take the driver's test. Well, when you got your permit and you took the written exam, um, what you might have thought about was, hey, I'm excited, I passed my test, let's start driving. But when you got behind the wheel, you weren't experienced in driving, but you trusted that what you read was sufficient enough and the person who was in the car with you was gonna help you learn to drive. Take that same concept with your life. Yes, you know that God's called you to do some great things and he has destined for you to do some great things. There's some assignment that you're supposed to be handling right now that you've been studying for and you've been preparing for, but you get in the driver's seat and you might feel a little anxious and you might start to doubt yourself that because this is something you've never done or it's something that you're not good at, trust Holy Spirit in the car with you that he's going to guide you and he's going to direct you because if you wait to be fully qualified, you're going to be waiting for a long time. We're never going to be fully qualified, but as long as we stay open and, uh, and ready to be taught. We will be forever evolving. We'll be forever growing. And so never ever get into a place where you can't be taught. Never ever get in a place where you're so, cause once you're at a place of complacency and can't nobody teach you anything, you might as well consider yourself to be dead because the architect of decay is complacency. Yeah. Change. You've got to change. You've got to be bought. You've got to do something else. You've got to continue to be in a place where you can learn. And the Lord says, I am your instructor, instructor, and it's time to get used to me teaching you new things. It's time for you to get used to being uh, uncomfortable. It's time for you to get used to doing something else and doing something different. Don't become complacent, and you must never stop being prepared to learn and grow. This is how we move forward into the fulfillment and the fullness of what God has planned for us. And the vehicle. So the vehicle represents your gifts. It represents your ministries. It represents your callings. It represents whatever it is that God has given you. And so what you have to remember is just like when you were driving in the car with someone and you had the, you know, the person that was your instructor telling you what to do, they were always sitting beside you and, and them sitting beside you qualified them to um, learn to drive on the road. Sitting beside them to qualify them to learn to drive on the road. He's sitting beside you to qualify you to learn to drive on the road. He is our instructor. He is the one who qualifies you. He's the one who teaches you. He's the one who guides you. And, and he's the one that's there to help you move forward in your gifts and in ministry that he has for you. The journey ahead for you is great. And he says, I am with you and I will never leave you. Second Corinthians 3, 4 through 6 says, we are confident of all this because of our great trust in God through Christ. It is not that we think we are qualified to do anything on our own. 
Our qualification comes from God. He has enabled us to be ministers of his new covenant. Ride with him. Ride out. Don't be afraid. Don't be complacent. Let him teach you something new today. Let him, let him stretch your capacity. Let him take you to another level, to another dimension. Always, always, always remain open to growth. Always remain open to be taught. Always remain open for God to do something new in your life. This is your day to step out of complacency and drive and move forward. Be great.